Hello and happy new year everybody who is uh, celebrating the new year at the moment. I'm gonna start the year off with a positive note because I feel like I get in this mode of being negative and I've decided recently that I'm just gonna be super positive from now forever because yes, um, this year I have started a new comic and I say started because I've already written out one of the comics, I want to do another duology, if you can call it a duology, I don't know, I'm just doing two comics at the same time like I did before with um, the slow and all at once disappearance of Olivia Newbery and which you want to start? And I already have two ideas, like big ideas and I think they probably will be bigger than these two short comics I think they'll probably be about 30 pages long whereas these comics were about 10 pages I think now I can't remember <laughs> so like probably I think they're about 20 pages each so these ones are definitely gonna be longer the first one is about a I don't know if she's an influencer or just somebody who has an interest in social media taking pictures of antique stores and thrifting and stuff like that and she's gonna find a frame and in the frame is gonna be a picture of someone who resembles someone in her family and I don't know whether it's gonna be her grandmother like when she was younger anyway the point is um, she'll find this frame and it will be a picture of someone in her family or look like someone in her family and she's gonna take it home and unbeknownst to her it's obviously haunted <laughs> and more things happen from there like she'll disappear from the frame um there'll be little things like she's gonna show her mum on like facetime or something and the woman in the picture is gonna be blurry and they'll just kind of shake it off to like technology and like obviously it goes further than that like there's gonna be a bit more to the story so yeah I've written that one out and I'm really excited because I have a lot of like imagery in my head of these panels and scary bits hopefully that will be scary and not just like goofy and then all the other comic which is far more loose in my head at the moment is about a water park and people going missing at a water park and I was gonna do it from the perspective of like a victim. And then I realized I could do a story where it's like from the perspective of somebody investigating the, these disappearances and how it all went down and then kind of telling us from the future of what happened. And you know, it, it's more like a folklore legend, but they were there kind of thing. And yeah, I think I could do some really creepy again imagery with that because just the idea of water parks and people going missing inside them like ugh, right I don't know for me that's kind of ugh. gives me a bit of a creep creep out I, I I've got to think of more words than creepy actually because uh hello <laughs> anyway today my desk is really messy so I decided to clean it up and just I think once I have everything fresh on my desk fresh um clean I feel definitely more inspired. I have this problem where I'm actually just a really messy person, in case you didn't know. Um, I'm very messy and I can't help it. I think it's just ingrained in me, but I, I hate mess as well. Like I need tidiness around me, otherwise my brain goes a bit berserk. So I have to tidy to work and um, yeah, I have like a kind of clean area. I have so much junk as well. I don't know if you guys have the same thing where you just collect like knickknacks and stuff and you just put it everywhere and it's like it's just a little bit overwhelming but then you also don't want to throw anything away because you love all the stuff. I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I did some sketches. I'm trying to find the style of these ones. Obviously, I want it to follow the same kind of style as The Slow Disappearance and Wishing the Star and also Emily is Burning but I want it also evolve from that if that makes sense like I want them to be kind of cohesive in the way that if you own them you could be like oh yeah they're all by the same person but also I want to make them better <laughs> which I think is fair 
I got these um, polychromos pencils for Christmas from my sister and I love them and I'm gonna be using them and also I found like this um, Japanese brush style pen that I used before um, that I bought in Japan I think probably for like a pound and I really liked it I tested it out again uh, last night and I really enjoyed it so maybe that's the way to go I don't know what do you guys think but I really like I do love the texture of the pencils um, and the alcohol markers that I've always used but I don't know maybe it's maybe it's time to move on I'm not sure not saying yes not saying no um, but yeah I'm just trying to explore styles I've written out the comic like I said so I'm going to follow the same structure as I've always done so there will be a page and then the panels that fit on the page are going to be written out just on that page so I can also like scribble down thumbnails and then make my own thumbnails from that that's something that really helped in the past so that's something I need to do it really makes it clear the structure and why I need to do what how many pages I need to do and can really clear up the schedule I think I kind of wanted to do the other two comics really quickly so not really quickly but I think I was like in that state of mind of like I want to get them done because um, I want to have them but I think with these ones I'm gonna take my time a little bit more um, I hope so anyway I realized that I've got this um, personality of a hurry up person we did this like kind of it's not Maya Briggs uh, personality quiz thing at, um, at work um, I can't remember what it's called but it's a different style and I'm a hurry up person in the sense where I just want to get work done and I, 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 I rush it but not in like it's bad kind of way I just I just want to get on with things so I think that really made sense in my head I was like yeah that's probably why whenever I do any artwork I'm like yeah I want to get this done I want it I want to see it finished instead of um, enjoying the process a little bit more so I'm trying to tell myself to to do that but yeah just looking at Scott McCloud book again I want to reread that again because I think it really helped me figure out certain aspects of the comics before I definitely want to review how I um, there's a train um how i draw out panels because i feel like i do a very structured way of like just straight on view whereas maybe i should look at different angles a little bit more hey, Kubi. and yeah i think i just need to reread that book and have a little bit of like oh yeah that's what i could do with this scene and lots of work to do basically ahead and i hope that you guys are going to be along for the ride I've also got my Etsy store opened up again. I closed it over Christmas because I just needed a break. What I did over Christmas, because I had a bit of art block, not art block, but just like tiredness, I guess, from working and drawing. Um, so I just took a break over Christmas completely. I was like, okay, don't take any art things home with you for Christmas, just live and don't do anything creative. Even though at the time when I was there, I was like, oh, kind of itching to draw, but I was like, no, don't do it. Because then when I came back, I was full on ready to jump into drawing and I felt really inspired so I felt that that was a really good trick for me it might not necessarily work always it might end up me being like super still wanting to take a break but it really worked for me and yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do every time I get a little bit burnt out or whatever and when I as well upload more videos but they're gonna be more casual like this I guess because I think just trying to chase the algorithm and all this rubbish just definitely burnt me out as well and I don't know I probably now I'm gonna be suffering for this video because I haven't uploaded in ages but I don't really care anymore <laughs> and I know that you guys who are watching this is like you know enjoying this content I guess if you made it up to this point so that's what I want to do and yeah I'm probably gonna stick to it uh, probably do fun videos every now and then because I do enjoy doing them but yeah just stop chasing the algorithm um, I don't know yeah and uh, that's it I guess that's it that's me I hope you guys will follow along for the comic ride and see where we go with it and uh, yeah I will uh, talk to you
talk to you guys soon. See ya!